Hello everyone, welcome to the demonstration of our new code comprehension tool, ARC, or the Assistant for Repetitive Code Comprehension. Uh, in this video, we're going to show one of our motivating scenarios for implementing this tool. Uh, and uh, in this scenario, we are in a fictional financial firm in which several applications and legacy systems estimate market value. Uh, they all have their own implementation of, of an algorithm to estimate market values for corporate bonds uh, instead of querying it from from a central service, which is bad, and we want to change that. But first, we have to understand the existing code. So in Eclipse, we have a reference program here that computes the market value, and we need to understand its semantics and also search for any other programs in the source code repository or in this workspace that semantically do the same thing. And Arc is going to help us with that. Uh, the plugin is already installed here, and we are looking at this Java method uh, it computes the market value for bonds uh, provided certain parameters. Uh, this method is implementing some strategy uh, that we don't fully understand yet, but if we did, uh, we could open the search window in Eclipse, uh, Control H, and do a strategy search uh, on the whole workspace to find other methods which are implementing the same strategy. This is part of our plugin, but we're going to come back to this later. Now we're going to generate a new strategy by right-clicking on this reference method in the package view and selecting create strategy. What R just did there was it quickly verified its whole pattern repository, uh, which is a knowledge base for uh, of predefined patterns, and presented this window, this summary, showing all the patterns from the repository and the number of times that each pattern was found in the reference method. So for instance, um, this pattern, assign and return, was found once in this reference method. It's a simple pattern. We can see that uh, this variable value is being assigned and then return. So it was found once. Uh, computation of each position in an array, uh, cumulatively adding, it was found once. This one found, was found once. We can also choose to ignore this pattern, uh, so not to make it part of the strategy that we're creating. Um, this pattern was found once, no, twice as well. And uh, this other pattern was found once. Uh, and, and then we have a bunch of, pattern that, uh, of patterns that were found zero times. Um, if we were to include this pattern, for instance, and say that we want to find it zero times, that means that if any other method in the repository has this pattern, then it won't match the, res the search result. So we're, we're going to choose to ignore it as well. So, so we can have, like in our search result, we're, we're going to have methods or programs that contain these patterns, this pattern and some programs that do not contain it. Um, let's give the strategy a name. Computation. But before saving it, I want to change the colors, the colors of these patterns. So this is the color that the tool would, will highlight the patterns with uh, when it finds uh, the strategy in the repository. So let's, let's make this yellow and blue. I like basic colors, so we're going to see why. Let's do red. And gray. So we're going to save this strategy. Strategy market value computation has been created. Okay. So now we can do a strategy search by hitting Control H, just a normal um, Eclipse shortcut, and go into our strategy search tab. And uh, the market value computation strategy is selected by default because it's the latest. And we click on search. Now what do we have here? The tool was able to find two programs. Um, that match the market value computation strategy that we just created. One of them is the method itself that we use for generating the strategy, and there's another method. We're going to see how similar or different they are. But first, let's, uh, let's double-click on this method, the one we know about. Um, there's some highlighting here, and uh, in order to understand what this highlighting means, we have to look at the strategies view. These are the patterns that are contained in the market value computation strategy. Uh, there's uh, the assign and return pattern, 
which has the blue color assigned to it. But there's also this interleaving color right here, uh, which is applied to all statements that, that are part of both patterns two and three. So every statement uh, with this color and the blue color uh, is part of the assign and return pattern. Statements that have interleaving colors will have this marker here uh, saying which patterns they are matched to. This one here, for instance, is matched to both patterns three and two, the cumulatively adding and assign and return, just like it is suggested by the, by the description of the interleaving color here. Now let's take a look at the other program that was found in the strategy search results. If we double click on it, we see the highlighting. In this program, the highlighting uh, contains the same, the exact same colors uh, as the other program that we were just looking at. And of course, because the colors come from the strategy definition. So assign and return is still color blue. And uh, also, uh, you know, if we see any statements highlighted with this shade of gray, that's also part of the assign and return uh, pattern. So let's take a look at this interesting pattern here, uh, iteratively populating a list. It will be highlighted with this light gray, uh, but it's also going to be highlighted with uh, this light mustard color because of the interleaving with pattern one. That means we need to find all statements that are highlighted with these two colors. And all those statements put together form the pattern iteratively populating a list. So in this code, there's uh, this one statement here, there's these three statements, and this statement here inside the loop. So those five statements form the pattern iteratively populating a list. And let's take a closer look. What do we have to do to iteratively populate a list? There are, there are many, many ways to do it, but here we are creating the list or declaring it. And uh, so inside the loop, using an iterator uh, that goes from zero to some other parameter and incrementing, and we we keep adding elements to this uh, to this list then if we take a look at the other program <clears throat> we are also creating a list uh, notice that the name of the variable doesn't matter um, and then we are populating the list inside a loop but this time it is a while loop so here we have a for loop with an iterator uh, integer variable that goes from zero to maturity and keeps incrementing. And here we have a different variable called year, which is declared outside the while loop. And year, uh, it goes from zero to the length of some array. Uh, and then it, uh, it is incrementing at the end of the loop. Uh, and inside the loop, we have the adding, uh, the adding part of the pattern. We can immediately see this is a great advantage of ARC. So ARC is able to do real semantic search. It is able to recognize the semantics of the programs uh, in order to understand the code, uh, in order to help us understand and comprehend what the program is doing. It doesn't care if, if the program is using a while loop or a for loop or uh, what the names of the variables are or even what the types of the variables are. Uh, it uh, it will help us understand. It will help. It, it will help us do real code comprehension based on semantics, and that is a, uh, that is a good advantage of ARC. Uh, there's a lot of improvements that have to be made, and we we'll talk about this in detail in the paper. You can find the link to the GitHub repository in the description in the description of this video. Uh, you can go there and download the plugin uh, from there and install it in your own Eclipse instance and use ARC for repetitive co code comprehension. I hope it is useful to you, and thank you for watching this demo.